Oh, look at that meat. Oh, man, that looks incredible. Straight into that sambal and actually scoop some of it up. Oh, yes. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. Today for lunch, I'm at a restaurant called Bebek Goreng Haji Slame. And this is a restaurant that's legendary in Jakarta for serving deep fried duck, crispy duck. And they have a number of branches around the city. And this is kind of a green themed restaurant. The plates are green, the walls are green and I wore my green t-shirt today. Mainly what this restaurant is most famous for is their deep fried crispy duck. And so you just order duck, and then it comes along with a famous sambal chili sauce, which looks incredibly good, and then you eat it all with rice. For my first piece of duck, I ordered a thigh. So this is a thigh and a drumstick. Comes with the everything but the foot attached, and this is um, not the not the fattest duck I've ever seen, but I'm sure it will be extremely flavorful. And I love how you can actually see where the feathers were plucked out of this duck. You can still see all that stubble there. And it's deep fried to a complete crisp. And then this is what I am most interested in. It just looks like a, a pounded bowl of chilies and oil. You can smell some garlic in there. And then also this plate is served with some garnishing vegetables. There's some cabbage on here. There's some, I think it's lemon basil, and then some cucumbers. And then also on the side, I got a piece of tofu and also a fried soybean tempeh. So I'm gonna, I gotta begin with that duck. This is, just looks like a, a natural grazing, running around, flying duck. Beautiful. I'm gonna take a piece off of the, the leg there. Oh, look at that meat. Oh man, that looks incredible. And I'm gonna dip that straight into that sambal and actually scoop some of it up. Oh yes. Oh that duck is so salty and flavorful and crispy. Oh and then that, that sambal, it actually went up my nose a little bit. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm not totally sure, but I think that they may dust the duck in maybe some cornstarch or some kind of a dry rub before deep frying it because it has a little bit of a starchy component to it on the skin. Okay, for my next bite, let me try to dismantle the leg, the drumstick, and get some of that thigh meat. There's not a lot of meat on this thigh, but the meat that there is, it is so flavorful and so tasty, unbelievably tasty. And for this bite, I'm gonna scoop up some of that sambal and then put it onto my rice. That sambal is crazy good. The texture of that duck is so incredibly good. It's so soft and moist on the inside. And then it's so crispy and salty on the outside. That sambal is just outrageously good. The chilies in there are so fragrant. And then you can taste the garlic, a lot of garlic in there as well. That's a very spongy piece of tofu. It almost looks like cheese. And I definitely cannot eat that tofu without some sambal as well. Yeah, that tofu is very crumbly and spongy. It's a little bit oily. I think it's soaked up some of that oil, uh, but it does taste really good, again, with that sambal. And next piece, just break off a bite of this, and then I think I'll eat this with some rice. And then maybe, oh yeah, I've got that extra piece of duck from my last bite. The tempeh is a little bit sour, has a little bit of a sour tinge to it, and then it's very starchy, and then fried again, and then with that same sambal. Definitely the key here is that sambal. I think you could eat anything with that sambal, and it would taste good. And take off all of that meat. Yeah, 
It's a little bit oily. Everything is a little bit oily, but it's so, it tastes so good. And let me actually put that on the rice. And let me just grab a spoon to try and take out some of this um, sambal without so much oil. All right. And then some of that lemon basil as well for this bite. There we go. That is a little bit on the oily side, but it is ridiculously good. And then with that freshness of the lemon basil, that gives it kind of a, a refreshing aftertaste all mixed in with that fried duck and those spicy chilies. I knew from the start that one portion of duck was not gonna be enough, so I also ordered a duck breast. That duck thigh and drumstick went down so easily. Time to start on the duck breast. And I think that is the duck wing. That is a, that is quite a bony, bony little wing. And let me go in for some of that, that duck breast meat. Wow, look at that, that's a lot of skin on this piece. And it's also a great thing that they brought some more sambal with this plate of duck as well. Grab some rice with this bite. Okay, that was a fatty bite. That skin is really crispy on the outside. But then on the inside layer of that skin, it's really creamy and oily. And then there was also a little bit of lean meat underneath that layer of fat. Oh man. It's so salty, but so good. That was one of those meals where after you finished eating, it feels like you used lip gloss, even though I didn't use any lip gloss. It was pretty greasy and pretty salty, but it was so worth every single bite. For me, it was all about that sambal. And even that sambal was on the, well, very, very oily. It was an oil-based sambal but the flavor that came out of that sambal, the saltiness, the mix of chilies and garlic was unbelievably good with that crispy duck. That was such a good meal. I would really recommend the, the thigh and the drumstick piece. There was a lot more meat on that piece than the breast. The breast was really, really small. So if you come here, I'd highly recommend the drumstick thigh combo. Thank you all for watching this video and also thank you to all of you who recommended this Bebek Goreng fried duck restaurant. Uh, like I said, they have a number of locations around Jakarta, so you can go to one that is near to you. And that's it for this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next food video.